Hi, I'm Mark Knight, um, owner of Torn Records, DJ and producer. I'm James F. Reynolds, uh, mainly known as a mix engineer, but I produce and write also. Like I said, my day-to-day -day thing is dance music. Um, it very much feeds my live career as a DJ and, and obviously then in turn works into the system as at the record label at Tour Room. But um, I like working on different projects. Uh, in fact, we're doing something very different now. Um, a, project, a project called Black Zeus, which is myself, Dean and James. Um, and I suppose if you had to draw a parallel in terms of where we're pitching it, um, it'd be akin to say the Chems or Underworld or the prod or something like that you know there's definitely a, a hole in the market for something like that and um, it's um, very much the focus of the next phase of my career so I'm enjoying doing that and uh, fingers crossed we'll have this album now today in fact James it's a big day it's a big, it's a big day. day of course on the right day yeah so uh, monumental we're fact. having a are we having a finishing party later oh I hope so Dean <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I mean, I don't know, it's one of those things I don't tend to look too much, reflect uh, too heavily on what I've achieved because you always have a vision of what you want to do next. But I, there's been some great milestones in my career. I mean, from a label perspective, we turn 15 next year is an incredible achievement in, in the current musical climate to, to survive that long. Uh, from a recordings point of view, when myself and Dean worked with Underworld, producing that album was, was, was an incredible thing to do and a great honour to be part of. Um, and from a live perspective, wow, I mean, there's, there's so many great things. When we did sold out Brixton Academy was a pretty cool thing to do. But I think it's always about looking forward, you know, in, in a career and not dwelling too much on, on the things you've done in the past. Thanks. Am I supposed to follow that? Over to you. Okay, well, my, my biggest thing I think over the last few years is getting a studio with windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done well there, mate. Look, someone who sits, I, I will have so many producers and mixers back me up and say, the only thing I want is windows in my studio. Dean and I were talking about it earlier. But anyway, no, I built my own studio about three years ago, which was great. That was obviously a, an ambition to just set something up exactly how I wanted it. Um, uh, you know, I've had I've had the privilege of working with loads of and mixing for loads of big artists, and I wouldn't say one was sort of more was better than the other. I, I love it. Day to day, I'm known for mixing records. So, you know, I've done everyone from Emily Sande, um, gosh, loads of people. Yeah, just 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 Didn't sort you of artists one of the across X the board. Factor contestants recently, James, as well. <laughs> Um, I must have, oh, I must have slipped in. Ellie Golding? That was him. <laughs> I think, I think, from a mixing point of view, you know, I do a long, long hours just listening to music. So I need a set of speakers. It's slightly different when you're writing and producing, and, you know, other people might like different speakers for that, because you know, it's about a vibe and it's vibe. about cranking yeah, it up. Yeah. When you're mixing, I need to work quite low level for long hours. So I need just a pair of speakers that give me the whole sonic range when quite low, you know, when I'm working in the room. They can go loud, obviously, but I couldn't do that for long periods because otherwise my ears would be shot, so. Yeah, absolutely. No, but I think you've got a nice, with the peer size, it's a nice balance of both. You can work it's low level, vibe. and as you say, vibe. you have that full, that full range, uh, but when you want to get a bit vibey, you know, they're loud enough and punchy enough and to the, give you that. Yeah, the transient response is amazing oh, on them. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I get producers in here the whole time who listen to them and go, wow, I can hear all the attacks on the kicks and, yeah. you know, all the transients, which again is a really important thing to, to be able to hear. Yeah. 